This colorful video is sponsored by the kind folks over at Skillshare.com. We are finally busting out the age of minimalism and are now embracing colors into our life, guys. I, for one, have always been a fan of white sneaks with a little bit of spice on them. But nowadays, I definitely show a lot of that rainbow on my feet. I've been starting to be a dunk fiend. I don't know where this came from, but I'm, I'm not a fan of it either. But hey, it's happening. Also, you just really can't count out Jordans ever. But I feel like the issue with a lot of people getting into color initially is feeling like something's off. Like you just look at your fit and you're like, I don't know what's going on, but something's wrong. So today we're gonna get rid of that anxiety and learn how to style some colored sneakers. And I'm gonna break this video down into three different types of color sneaker as there's different difficulties here. And those being black with color, white with color, and then the color majority, the all over print, the wild, the final boss. So let's start with the easiest and most common of the three and then work our way up with black and color. Real quick, before we get into this, I just had the dream collab with McDonald's go live. And y'all know better than anyone how hard I've been campaigning for this my whole life. So if you just could go over to my IG and absolutely go ham on that post with love, it'll make my week. And it would also kind of just make McDonald's go, okay, why the hell is this audience so crazy? I don't know, that's all. Uh, thanks for the support, guys. This is still wild. Um, So black with color, super common, easy one. Some examples are the breads. The Royals. We even got the heart shoe, if we're being completely honest. It's the same thing as the, the heart shoe is pretty much the converse breads. Whoa, hot take. And these are really easy to style because there's a pop of color, but then the black kind of diffuses the color to make it mesh with your fit and not stand out too much. So you can just kind of throw them on with anything. But there are a couple things you got to keep in mind to not be corny. Like matching colors too hard with your shoes and the rest of your fit. Dude, you look like a walking spirit week. You look like spirit week. I don't know. I just always found it to be too heavy handed. Like I know when I was a kid, my mom would always make all my outfits like super matchy matchy. And so if you want to avoid this whole my mom dressed me up in my cool sneakers for school type beat, then yeah, just don't match too close. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little color coordination, but just don't, but don't be that guy. We all know who that guy is. So instead, you can use complementary colors or analogous colors to go with your shoes rather than all the colors in your outfit holding hands. Stop this. Like right here, I got my breads that I love to use as snowshoes. I'm not gonna apologize for this, guys. And then I paired it with my green Rasta hoodie, and then bam, the colors are complementary. Right there on the color wheel, the fit ties together well from top to bottom, all the way down. And if you're also trying to use that color wheel that right here, I'm gonna leave it in the description. I use it all the time, do whatever you want. But yeah, there's not much to say here. When a shoe is like black with a little bit of color, it's just a really good way of adding color to your fit. It's really easy to style. Like right here, I got some Crocs in this color scheme because you just know I'm not messing around. And if I can make this work in this monochrome fit and it's not that bad, then you can throw in some Royals and not look ridiculous. You're welcome. Yeah, so the main guideline here is just don't be too matchy-matchy, man. I don't want to know that your mom is at home dressing you in your cool sneakers because that's what it looks like, even though it's probably not the case. I'm sure your mom's lovely, but leave that stuff at home, man. Use complementary colors or analogous colors to really work the colors of your fit rather than just being so heavy-handed, or you can just let the shoe shine for itself. Either way, it's going to look good. But enough of that easy stuff. We're moving on to the big leagues now, baby. This is the hard mode. A lot of people kind of have trouble styling this sometimes and it's just like i get it you know it's a lot of color there's a lot of white it kind of sticks out on your fit and you kind of feel like something's off like something sticks out like a sore thumb but don't worry i got you covered that's why you're here and my entire rotation is pretty much this so i got all the tips and tricks y'all need to get around it and let's start with why this is a pain in the ass you know like why is that so hard to style for people that are just getting into fashion so since there's no black on this one as opposed to the breads there's nothing diffusing the contrast of the color of your shoes with the rest of your fit, especially if the color pops like this red right here, like meaning the shoes are gonna stick out like a sore thumb if you just throw them on whatever. Like, not that you can't wear them like this, like this is completely fine, no one really cares, but some people are like, oh, it sticks out, it's too obvious, like something's wrong, and I get it. I also feel that way sometimes when I wear a really bright shoe and there's nothing going on. But if you wanna make the whole fit work together with this color scheme, you gotta make sure that everything pairs visually. And yeah, so, so for this fit, for example, I got these candy cane dunks on them, kind of sticking out the YouTube subscribe button dunks. Actually, pause. If your subscribe button looks like these dunks right here and not like this, then you're fake. Why? That's so fake. Oh my God. 
Oh, the subscribe button's supposed to be red and white? Could it be me? Mine's being gray the whole time. So go click that so I could stop throwing shade and just give you the tip that I had in mind. I mean, this fit would work with the black and color variant, you know, like the breads. But, you know, we move it on to the hard mode, the big leagues. So I'm going to show you what's up. Rather than the all black all the way, which is super mid. This is boring. I swapped the pants for jeans and bam, now they complement each other. Blue complements that red and white while also complementing that faded black of the top. And bang, we got even more color. We made it harder for ourselves, but it flows better too. You feed two birds with one scone here, guys. Now we're no longer killing two birds with a stone, bro. It's all love. You get two spices in your fit that work. Oh, sh you get two spices in your fit that work together. Another example, I got these dunks. Actually, I'm wearing them right now. These dunks that I bought because they remind me of that big ass water jug that every kid had in the 2000s when they played flag football. And you're out in the sun and you're sweating and you smell like grass and you and there's like ice in it. So when it shakes, you know that sound? There's like ice rattling inside that big ass water jug and you take a sip of it and it's so cold and it's refreshing. And you're like, ah, not a single worry in the world, just vibes. Wow, I really just painted a moment right there. I hope that everyone can relate because I'm having a trip right now, man. I remember my biggest worry back then was uh, hoping that my mom would stop by McDonald's on the way home. <sighs> Anyways, uh, where was I? I don't even remember. I'm still in Japan 2003. Jesus Christ. Um, well, both of these shoes I bought uh, grilled before bed. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, grilled before bed has been a problem lately, but I sleep like a baby, so it don't matter. So this technique is just leading into the color, but again, not being too matchy-matchy. I do have a lot of blue everywhere, but it's not the same royal kind of like sharp blue as this. Got the navy jacket to work with the blue, but I got a lot of other colors to complement it too. Looking very, well, those kind of bars. Looking very collegiate and vintage here but with some modern switch up like this stupid vest that nobody really needs like i don't need to wear this but it looks cool anyways we're here to pull up not show up we're here to pull up okay so but yeah if you find the white and color standing out a bit too much for a fit maybe consider trading your neutral pieces for ones that complement or even just fall in line with the color scheme of your shoe like navy like how in the last one i used the red to work with the blue jeans on the previous fit and now the blue on the shoes work with different types of blues on the rest of my fit like the navy and stuff or even this one actually that i'm wearing right now where the dunks are blue and i got a little blue in my hoodie which is a little matchy it's a little matchy but it's not corny because it's kind there's not a lot of blue there's a lot in between to diffuse it you got this you got a lot of texture on the cargos and the hardware so you got a little matchy to pop but it's not corny no corn pops here i hate corn pop cereal who eats corn pop cereal my god and yeah the pants are a little longer kind of diffusing the shoes too by eating it up not that I eat corn pops so yeah instead of trying to deaden your outfit and make it boring to make room for your shoes that's so mid. Step out of your comfort zone. Try new colors. Try new things. Use the color wheel maybe. Use new textures. Use new complementary combos that you've never used. But yeah, just making things plain doesn't fix all your problems. Again, we're here to pull up, not show up. Actually, remember that one too. That's kind of a bar. Speaking of pulling up, we got, we got a wild one. The last one, the color majority when your shoe is kind of just wilding whether it just be a cool, nice, spicy, monochrome, all colorful shoe, or you got a lot of wild patterns coming up now. Like these new dunks that just released, you got the chunky dunks, you got a lot of Air Force Ones and Jordan Ones that are just kind of wilding. But starting with the monochrome ones, I kind of just like to let them shine in the fit. I let them have their place. Like here I have the Fuchsia or Plummy pair of Air Zoom Vomeros, which is just kind of a, also a result of Grail Before Bed. Uh, it's an obsession. Also was a steal. I love these. Anyways, I just throw them on a neutral fit and let them shine. They're gonna stand out. You bought a monochrome pair of colorful sneakers. You're kind of asking for it. I guess just get the rest of your fit out of the way in terms of color so you can really leave some space for this in the mix. Same thing goes for this type of wild sneaker we got. This pattern, very crazy stuff that we've been seeing lately. Just crazy designs all around, man. But hey, we're here to we're here to what? We're here to pull up, not show up. Exactly. Like this fit, I'll let the shoes shine, but play with other factors that don't interfere with the color, like tones, textures, and proportions even. I guess the main thing for color is just being okay with standing out, man. You're gonna stand out. You got colorful shoes. And coming from someone that wears all black all the time and white sneakers, bro, you just gotta start wearing your stuff. You just gotta start pulling up and stop showing up and start pulling up. Also, that's a big tip in this video. Stop being afraid. Let your colors shine, man. But yeah, for this type of colorful sneaker, I guess the main thing is just don't let the rest of your fit upstage it. 
you just really want to let these babies shine. And if you're going to add color for the rest of your fit, you got to make sure nothing's clashing and all the colors are working well together. But if you're just starting off, just let them babies shine. But yeah, no, it is just a lot of color theory and stuff. And I, I learned a lot of that through graphic design. And also I love taking pictures. So I'm in Lightroom all the time. Just using color theory in there too. Just making things look visually tasty. And, uh, but yeah, if you want to learn how to edit pictures and stuff in graphic design, you can use to sponsor this video, which I use to learn a lot of these tricks. Skillshare.com, which I tricked you. That's not even me, bro. That is literally a Skillshare course. I am not even editing anything. That's a course. So yeah, tricked you. What is Skillshare? Skillshare is the best place to learn absolutely anything. They got over hundreds of courses on whatever you'll need. Like I said, I've been using these Lightroom courses as I've been uh, back on the gram lately. Also, I've been singing, as you can see right here. I've been getting pretty major at that one. Look at this. You should be with him. I can't compete. You looked at me like I was someone else Oh well Yeah, yeah, breath control, whatever, yeah, yes I've been using this course by Eve Williams just to make sure I have good form when I'm singing so that I don't mess with my voice so I can give hot takes for the rest of my life And, uh, not gonna lie been dating around and all this stuff has been fun to talk about and share with people that I meet So, uh, I'll leave it to you guys to fill in the blanks there In the dark can hop in and upgrade yourself by clicking the link in the description and signing up the first 1,000 of y'all that register will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium to go learn whatever you want and then after that it's like less than $10 a month on an annual subscription so what are you waiting for go sign up now guys you'll be surprised at how fun it is not being lame well thanks for watching the video hope you grew some balls uh -huh. Go let them colors shine, baby. Uh, go follow me on Instagram at ChristianVY. I am we're kind of having fun here. And uh, go follow me on Twitter at JK underscore Wiling for the hottest takes on the internet. We're kind of having fun everywhere. You should tag along. Um, new episodes of the podcast are out. Uh, we went to the we went to the Super Bowl and I kissed Tom Brady. Maybe I don't know, but it is kind of a wild podcast. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because if it's red, that's so fake. That's so fake. If it's red, that's so fake, man. I hate that. Thank you for watching. Bye.